What's this? Holy sh! Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Not Enough Tech. This is not Mini DSO ES101 Precision Screwdriver. This is an automatic pencil. And it's a dear to me pencil, and it's one of my favorites, and it's quite expensive as well because it costs around $50, or at least when I bought it. Now, will it make me a better artist? No, I pro probably could get away with using something like that and get the job done. However, it will make the whole experience much, much better. So the question for today, I've got whether you should use a precision kit like this or whether you should upgrade to something like this. And there is no question, this is an absolute brilliant quality precision screwdriver. Now I have two of them, I have one of these from Mini DSO and I have a Xiaomi Wow Stick, which complete review you can actually watch it here. So uh, take a look at it if you want to know what is Wow Stick all about. I'm going to mention a little bit of that, but obviously because it's a Mini DSO review I'm going to focus on that. Now, well, first of all, this is a pricey choice, ranging between $60 to $90, depending on promotion on Banggood. Thanks to Banggood, by the way, for sending me this for the review. Uh, it is an expensive option. You can get a precision screwdriver kit for as little as a couple of dollars and a wow stick that I've mentioned before for about $13 to $15, depending on your promotion. Now, what makes this special is the build quality, encased in stainless steel, and, well, to be, to be fair, really nicely produced uh, to the same level of quality as their soldering irons. I've discussed the uh, TS-80 in here, so if you want to take a look at the TS-80 soldering iron from Mini DSO, go and take a look if you're looking for a portable quality tool. Now back to the screwdriver. It's going to be very hard to justify the price for a couple of reasons, and let me tell you why. First of all, accessories. This is pretty much all you get with this, considering the price. There is no even a mini USB lead to charge this, because it has that LiPo built-in. Now, I'm slightly surprised that you're not using, especially this is an iteration, they're not using USB Type-C like they did in TS-80 soldering iron, they use a mini USB for charging. Second of all, despite having almost identical screen like TS-80, uh, portable soldering iron, you cannot put the logo on it. And this is I'm really, really upset about because I was so looking forward to put the logo on it. Okay, it might not bother you as much, but it is slightly bizarre that you can do it on one device or not the other. Another thing that I would like to talk about is the position of the actual button. Now, the button you have to press and hold in order to activate the screwdriver, which makes it slightly awkward because you're gonna end up holding the screwdriver like this for the best ergonomics. That's not the case with Wowstick, which allows you to uh, use this uh, screwdriver in a pen holding position and it's quite comfortable. Now, speaking about driving screws, I wish the ends were also slightly more magnetized because as it stands, sometimes the grip on the actual screws is quite delicate and uh, it's possible to lose the screws during the work. Let's talk about positive things now. The build quality of this is through the roof. The stainless steel enclosure it adds the weight to the screwdriver and to let you use it in a manual mode without any problems. The screwdriver has a brilliant ergonomics for that and it just feels so nice in your hand. Speaking about the driving the screw action, uh, you can perform that uh, thanks to the accelerometer built inside. What you do, you press the button and then twist your wrist in the direction you want screwdriver to work. The last talking point for this screwdriver is variable speed. This screwdriver is capable of 380 RPMs and uh, the less torque is required to drive the screw, the quicker and the uh, turns it's going to be driving even the longest screw within seconds. Another great feature are the mode. Apart from automatic mode, you can have a user mode which you can edit as a file on your computer and four different gear settings uh, to pick the preferable uh, speed and torque ratios. So enough talk, let's put it to action and I'm gonna compare it with the wow stick itself and my good old traditional kit and some elbow grease.
So it's time for a conclusion and this is not an easy one because I like this screwdriver a lot and every moment spent uh, using it it's just fun. But uh, I can't help but notice that uh, WowStick is about $15 and provides the same torque. Yes it is slower uh, but it is much cheaper. So who is it the ES1 to 1 for? Probably someone that really, really values the tools and is not afraid of spending a bit of money to get a better quality tool. In the same way, I bought my pencil because I appreciate the time I spent with it and, well, it's extra fun. So, if you want to get a premium tool to your toolbox, go ahead and get Mini DS or AES121 screwdriver. You're definitely not going to be disappointed. Also, it makes for a perfect gift for someone interested in electronics because we all like to get something special and well perhaps a kit like this isn't special but definitely electronic screwdriver is. So let me know guys what do you think in the comments for this video. Links for both screwdrivers, the Wolf Stick and the ES121 are gonna be in the description of this video so if you're interested go and check it out. As for now I do not have a posting schedule so if you are interested in the content I post then follow me on social media down below and you'll get notification when a new article or video is out. As for now guys thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care.